I am the famous American. And sometimes I make videos based off of comments that I receive from my viewers. And that's exactly the case with this video you are currently watching. So I made a video quite recently, I actually uploaded it this morning in real time. The video is called, In the USA, We Get Confused by Muslim Asians Since That Religion and Race Don't Match. So if you haven't seen that video and you want to check it out, but that's something I'm focusing on more on this channel here in 2021, is the idea that people conflate things about people. They'll conflate their race with their religion, with their ethnicity, with their nationality, with their national origin, all five of those things. I've made a video about that as well. People in the United States specifically conflate those. So it does seem strange that someone, quote, doesn't look Muslim because in our minds, if you're Muslim, then you're, quote, Middle Eastern, which specifically we're talking about someone who has the gene, genetic markers of someone from Iraq or Iran or something like that. So if you don't have that general look, then you, quote, don't look Muslim. So, and we could say that about anything. We could say some, oh, well, they don't look Jewish, like Paul Rudd, he's Jewish. But he doesn't look as Jewish as, say, Steven Spielberg, for example. Certain people look more Jewish than others. So in an American mindset, and that's largely what this channel is about, I'm, I'm teaching the rest of the world how the United States views all of these things. So with that being said, I like this comment, a very relevant comment that came in from one of my viewers on that video. Guillermo, here's what he said, quote, look up how Anna Taylor Joyce Gambit who is a white Argentine actress, is considered a person of color because she speaks Spanish. She's of color, of ab alabaster color, to be more specific. Race, ethnicity, and nationality are very different things, end quote. Which is, yeah, exactly one of the themes of this channel in 2021. But specifically what he said in this comment, he said, she's considered a person of color because she speaks Spanish. Let's dwell on that because ultimately that's been an ongoing theme of my videos throughout the years that this channel has been around, is that someone suddenly has a different race because they speak a different language. So here in the United States, this is quite a paradox we live in, that ultimately if you speak Spanish, people are, assume, are gonna assume you're Mexican. They won't necessarily, like, Spanish and Mexican are the same thing as far as how so many people in the United States perceive it. People in the United States have a, a hard time understanding that a person could actually be from Spain, like the nation of Spain, like their nationality is Spain. But here in the United States, typically if someone speaks Spanish, no matter where they're originally from, they're Mexican. And they're already perceived to have a different race simply because they speak that language. So, for example, if someone perhaps looked like me and their first language was Spanish, they would say, look at that white Mexican, look at that white guy speaking Spanish, that's weird. And granted, for those of you who don't know, a quarter of my ethnicity goes back to Mexico. Uh, my grandmother was 100% Mexican, she was a first generation American. But either way, I'm too white to speak Spanish as my first language. If, I, if a guy like me spoke Spanish, it's because I took a lot of Spanish in college and then I traveled overseas and learned Spanish even better or something like that. I'm too white to speak Spanish. But perhaps there's a certain grade of, of skin tone when it's just dark enough that you speaking that Spanish makes you a person of color. Uh, so it's interesting because it's all arbitrary. It's all made up. It's all a matter of perception. And the perceptions that people have here in the United States will easily differ from people in Europe and the rest of the world. But it is interesting how language plays a part in us determining a person's race or ethnicity or both. That race, facial features, skin tone, maybe even hair type, all these types of things can all be perceived differently, uh, an alter of perception, because a person speaks a different language than we would have suspected, which goes back to the concept, we can look at a person here in the United States and, and think, how, how could they be Muslim? They don't look Muslim. Well, on a similar note, like I started this video, how could that person speak Spanish? Their skin's not dark enough. They don't, quote, look Mexican. In reality, they're 
Spanish or for some other country. You take the mic. What do you have to say about this concept? Right here in the comments.